reading slump. I'm out of my reading slump. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am very happy, as you can see. December and January were the worst months for me in a long time when it comes to reading. I only read about two to three books each of those months, and that is not very good for me because I didn't really feel motivated to read, and I hate that feeling. But thankfully, oh my gosh, January came around and it totally pulled me out of my reading slump and thrusted me back into the world of reading. I read a total of seven books in the month of February, so let's get started with this wrap-up video. The first book I read this month was A Wicked Thing by Rhiannon Thomas. See, I've read quite a few retellings of Sleeping Beauty, but this one definitely stood out amongst those. The beginning sucked me right in, and that's what I was really happy of, because this is the first book I read in February, and really I think that this is a book that pulled me out of my reading slump, because it sucked me in from the start, and made me keep on reading until the very end, and then it made me want more, and I was like, where's the next book? Why is it not in my hands? I need it in my hands, like, right now. So even at the end, it made me want to keep on reading, which led me to read six other books that month, so thank you, A Wicked Thing. You did me justice. I gave a 5 out of 5 stars to this book, and if you like retellings, you'll love this book. It's actually out on bookstands today, so go check it out. The second book I read in the month of February was The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. This book was pretty good. The beginning of the book kind of didn't pull me in from the start, but the end surely made up for it because the ending was fantastic, and I'm so excited that the next book in the series is coming out this month in March. This book is about Crestel, and she is an aristocratic member of the Valoria. Valoria is the kingdom and the ruling empire she's a part of, and they took over this other empire where she currently lives. And she decides one day to go buy a slave named Aaron, and Aaron is a part of the resistance that is resisting against Valoria. That's very confusing, but I hope that makes sense. But Crestel has lots of stuff riding on her back. Her father is a very prestigious member of the military, and he's like, okay, you either go into the military or get married. You don't have any other choice. And she's like, yeah, I'm good at like strategy and stuff, but I also love music, so she's not really inclined to go either way with her father's choices. And I also really like Aaron. I thought he was a very interesting character, and I really liked how this book was written from dual points of views because it's really interesting reading from both these characters viewpoints. So if you're reading this book, hold on until the middle to end of this book because the ending is totally worth the read and I cannot wait for the next book. So the third and fourth books I read this month was Fifty Shades of Grey and Fifty Shades Darker by E.L. James. These books were alright. This book was definitely better than Fifty Shades of Grey. I know Fifty Shades of Grey has lots of controversy around it. I talked about it in my movie review and my book review which is out now so if you want to go check it out. But I gave this book like, I think I gave like a 1 out of 5 stars, but I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars because there's definitely a huge difference between these two. I'm not saying that's a great book, but it's a very quick read, so yay! The fifth book I read this month was Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche. So this book is about kingdoms, and there are four main kingdoms in this book, along with these other kingdoms, but it surrounds the four seasons. Winter, fall, spring, and winter. The main characters in this book are from the Winter Kingdom that was overtaken by the Spring Kingdom, and all of the inhabitants of the Winter Kingdom were enslaved by the Spring Kingdom. The main character in this book is Mira, and Mira is such an awesome character. She really just wants to fight for her kingdom and get its people back and the kingdom back on its feet. She was one of the people who escaped the Spring's Kingdom when she was very young, along with with the future king of the Winter Kingdom, so they were saved from enslavement. The whole entire fight between alliances and enemies were really well done in this book, and you can definitely see it through the character Mira's eyes, and she has this fresh set of eyes because she has actually never been to her home in the Winter Kingdom, and she really wants to get back there, and you can see just all the love for her kingdom that she has, and Mather, who is a future king of that kingdom, you can definitely see his love for it, and just the rest of the people who escaped the Winter Kingdom, which is only 35 people, and now it's down to like 7 or 8 people but they're technically the resistance and there's very few people in it but they never lose hope and that's what I really loved about this book but at the end there's such a plot twist that oh my gosh it's so good Oh, I really need the next book. This is such a good fantasy novel. I loved it so much and I highly recommend it. The next book is probably my favorite book I read this month and that is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I actually got to meet Victoria this month at one of her book signings at Anderson's Bookshop in Naperville and she's so awesome. She is also awesome because she watches Outlander. Lally Brock, Scotland. I'm obsessed, guys. I'm obsessed. But this book is about the Reds and the Silvers. Reds are people who do not have powers, and the Silvers are people who have X-Men type powers in this kingdom that rules over a certain amount of land. And this book is about a girl named Mare Barrow, and she is a Red. She lives with the Reds since she was young. She has her parents there, her whole entire family. 
but it turns out she actually has a power and that is really unheard of for the Reds. Nobody's ever heard of a Red having power until Mayor Barrow and she actually has a power to control lightning and it is freaking awesome. You know in books when you just get empowered by them? Yeah, yeah, this book empowered me. I'm like, oh my god, I want us to control lightning. <laughs> But this whole entire book is amazing. It's about power struggles. It's about trust and betrayal. Betrayal in this book. This book is one of the books that really, really caught me off guard with the plot twist. I could say with complete certainty, only five books I've ever read, and I've read a lot of books, have ever caught me off guard with complete shock. And this is one of those books because the betrayal in this book is like... <sighs> I need the next one really badly. But I really love this book and I highly recommend you go pick it up. Okay, so the last book I read this month was a really good way to end off the month because it's also a great book and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. So this book is about Leia. Leia is one of the scholars who were enslaved by the Marshals. The Marshals are the big bad people who took over the scholars' land, enslaved some of them, and then they're finally living in poverty and horrible conditions because of the Marshals. The Marshals are also known as the Masks because they have masks over their faces because they are kind of like the policemen in this book, but they're really bad guys. But it's about when Leia's brother gets taken by the masks and taken to prison. She's like, oh my gosh, I need to get him back. So she goes to the resistance that is fighting against the marshals and the masks, and she goes and joins up with them, and she becomes a slave at the Masks Training Academy. And it is at the academy where Leia, she meets Elias. Elias is one of the other main characters which this book switches points of views in, and he's the finest soldier at this academy. His mother rules over the academy, but she is a complete biatch. And he actually does not like what the masks stand for, so they kind of click right off the bat. But this book doesn't rush into any romance, it's really about Leia growing as a character because she's quite a weak character from the beginning, but she grows into this amazing character towards the end. And I really hope there's a next book in the series, because currently there's not anything on Goodreads that says that this is a series, but I freaking hope it's on a standalone because that ending, I need to know more. So good, so good, so good. So make sure you watch out for this book on April 2015, because that's when it's coming out. So these are the books I read this month. I'm super proud of myself that I read all these books because I was in such a reading slump, and I'm happy I'm out of it. So stay tuned for my March TBR video that'll be up probably after this one. So I'm really excited to be sharing what I'm going to be reading next month because I'm so pumped for it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!